Pat Tillman wanted to play college football at Stanford, but the interest wasn't mutual, so he moved on and accepted the last of Arizona State's 25 football scholarships. When the freshman arrived in Tempe in 1994, he already had an exit strategy in place. He walked in, he told Bruce Snyder, he said, Bruce, I'm gonna be here for four years and I'm gone. He knew he wasn't redshirting, he always had a plan and a purpose. Tillman spent two seasons as a special team standout before earning a starting spot at linebacker on one of the greatest teams in school history. Absolutely nothing met by Pat Tillman. Yeah, there's contact to be made. Pat Tillman's going to find him. He changed games. He would destroy offenses, sometimes single-handedly. They just turning loose. Mr. Pat Tillman in raising hell again. He's a three-point, eight-seven stoop, and obviously he spends much more time in the library than he ever did the barbershop. We had an amazing group in 96. Good players became great. Everyone took a step up, including Pat. What was amazing is the biggest win, one of the biggest wins in school history happened so early in the year. Live from Sun Devil Stadium, the number one ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers come calling on the Arizona State Sun Devils. 26 consecutive victories and looking to three-peat as national champions. One year earlier, the Sun Devils traveled to Lincoln, where the Cornhuskers handed them a humiliating 77 to 28 loss. That Nebraska whooping put us on a course to not ever take that again. We knew we were a better football team and we had a quiet confidence about us. Any hopes of defeating the two-time defending national champions rested on stopping the run. So Tillman's mission was to neutralize future Pro Bowl running back, Amon Green. The pitch this time to Green trying to get outside. Sun Devils played it exactly right. Tillman tossed him out of bounds. And the pitch to Green, he loses it. He's in the end zone. Ball is still loose. It's going to be a safety. And Tillman had his hands on it. I think there was a genuine feeling through most of the game. Everybody's kind of looking over their shoulder. Oh, it's Nebraska. Oh, they haven't scored yet. Wait till they start scoring. And he would get in people's faces. He wouldn't let anybody relax. There's only been two shutouts of the number one team in the last 40 years. Amon Green running into the end zone for Nebraska at the end for a meaningless touchdown fumbles. And Pat recovers that ball. And so I think a lot of people have in their head Pat Tillman lifting that ball up and running off the field. That night, I don't know if it can ever be topped. 